you know, this is a, the nature of this project and the, and the location of it, right now there, there's not much retail space within walking distance uh, of Valdosta State that students, professors, um, anyone on that campus can, can readily get to by, by walking. And so I think that's a, a very big attraction uh, to this project and, and the emphasis for it. Um, the retail space is a little over 12,000 square feet uh, now on the plans you see. Uh, there are 70 parking spaces uh, devoted to uh, the retail use. Uh, of course, we think a lot of these, the users of, of this retail space, will probably utilize the parking deck that's Caddy Corner, uh, the VSU parking deck. The um, but there's, there's ample ample space to deal with the traffic that we believe this, the retail space is going to generate. Uh, 216 residential units, and you know, when, when we first talked about that number uh, with the, the staff there, you know, the, the jobs sort of dropped. Um, I think we were able to, and, and credit to the architect who's here, Stuart Bobolk, you'll have questions for him later, to design a plan that, that really um, encompasses the feel for the college that's there and the area and uh, you know the greenery and the puffering around the, the perimeter of the building it, it looks really good so it works uh, with that density you know this area works for that density um, there is going to be an on-site staff to manage the property and uh, I can have we've got the whole team here we can have the uh, representative from McAllister discuss that a little more if you have questions about that but anticipate probably a staff of six to ten to handle the leasing office uh, there's going to be an on-site gym an on-site pool <coughs> tenant issues uh, both on the retail and on the residential side so um, the planning commission, commission did unanimously approve this uh, like Mr. Martin said there were nine conditions attached to their approval uh, at this time and these these conditions have been tweaked revised massaged I mean you name it uh, since we started this process and I think at this time we were at a point where the staff of the city and the applicant um, are agreeable to these conditions you know the, the one caveat I, I would like to say and this was pointed out by Councilman Carroll is that you know, this is, this is going to be a process here. And as we go forward in the future, um, there may be a need to come back uh, in front of the planning commission, in front of the council, to address some of these, condition, you know, these conditions. Uh, most importantly, I think, is the maximum uh, the limitation put on this square footage for retail space at 3,000. I mean, we could have an anchor tenant that comes in that wants 5,000 square feet or you know, 8,000 square feet. And we may be back here before you uh, to address that. And so we would just ask and hope that the city would work with us in that respect. Um, and I think when we do come back, obviously we'll have a more specific uh, plan and set of plans and square footage uh, for you to, to consider. So um, we would ask that you follow the Planning Commission's recommendation and approve this plan development application with the nine conditions set forth by the Planning Commission. I do have uh, in the audience uh, Mills Buxton from McAllister Development. I think it's always good to put a, a face with a name, so I would like Mills to get up here and say a few words about McAllister Development, and uh, he and I can answer any questions you have. We also have the local engineer, Bill Kent, here, uh, who can address any engineering questions, and like I said, Stuart Vogel, uh, the architect. So, well, before you do that, I want to make sure you said to, to follow the recommendation of the Planning Commission with the changes made in number one. Excuse me, that, that's correct. Thank you, Mr. Hanson. With the, that would be the Planning Commission's recommendations with the changes to number one proposed by staff. The thing I read earlier. Bill, do you want to come on? I'm Mills Buxton of 1444 Simmons Street in, in Mount Pleasant, South Carolina. Uh, Mr. Mayor, members of council, Mr. City Manager, I appreciate the opportunity to be here this evening before you. Um, just wanted to take a quick second to introduce myself and the company and to make myself available to answer any questions.
questions you might have of the company or any of our any of our, our design team. Uh, I'm the chief operating officer of the company. Uh, we've been in business for over 20 years, specializing in mixed-use student housing properties at universities in the southeast. In Charleston, we're currently working on projects at Clemson University, University of South Florida, St. Pete, uh, several other universities throughout the southeast. But uh, we are very excited about this opportunity. We think it is a perfect location for this type of facility uh, for a vibrant, pedestrian-oriented, mixed-use campus edge project. So uh, if given the opportunity, we look forward to being a good corporate citizen of Valdosta and a good neighbor to the university and the other residents of Valdosta. And at this point, you know, just make myself available to answer any question you might have. Question. One question I could, yes, sir. assuming this is all successful, would there be a possibility you'd come back and want to do some more projects like this in our community? <laughs> well, it's an interesting question, but I think there's only just a handful of sites, if that, where this, this type of use, you know, at this scale would be appropriate. Um, but, yeah, we, we've had a great interface with, with the staff and, and Larry and Matt, and we could not be more appreciative of the collaborative effort that these guys have put forth in thinking through some complex zoning and development uh, problems that we had to solve to get, to get this far. Mr. Buxton, yes, I can recommend the perfect site for you. Okay. <laughs> Should you need it? I'm all ears. Mm -hmm. Any other questions? Does anyone else 